Welcome to this video on implementing cybersecurity requirements for identity and access management. This is an essential step in ensuring that only authorized users have access to sensitive information and systems, while keeping them secure from unauthorized access. In this video, we'll explore the different technologies that can be used to implement these controls and how to implement them in an easy and straightforward way. To implement cybersecurity requirements for identity and access management, organizations can use a variety of technologies, including authentication and authorization technologies, identity and access management solutions, directory services, single sign-on solutions, access control technologies, identity federation technologies and security information and event management, SIEM, systems. Authentication and authorization technologies. Authentication technologies such as password-based authentication, Multi-factor authentication and biometric authentication allow an organization to verify the identity of its users. Authorization technologies allow an organization to control what systems and data each user can access. By combining these two technologies, organizations can ensure that only authorized users can access sensitive information and systems. Identity and Access Management IAM, Solutions Identity and Access Management IAM, Solutions provide a centralized platform for managing and controlling access to systems and data. These solutions can integrate with the organization's Active Directory or other systems, to automate the process of provisioning and deprovisioning access, and can also include features such as role-based access control, RBAC, and monitoring and logging to ensure compliance. Examples of IAM solutions include Microsoft Active Directory, Okta, ForgeRock Identity Platform, AWS IAM and IBM Security Identity Governance and Intelligence. Single Sign-On, SSO, Solutions. Single Sign-On, SSO, Solutions allow users to access multiple systems with a single set of credentials. This can reduce the number of passwords that users need to remember, making it more secure, and increase user productivity. Examples of SSO solutions include Okta, OneLogin, and Ping Identity. Access Control Technologies. Access control technologies, such as role-based access control, RBAC, and attribute-based access control, ABAC, helps to ensure that users only have the access they need to perform their jobs and no more. This can be done by creating different roles for users with different access needs and assign them to the appropriate users based on their job function and responsibilities. Identity Federation Technologies Identity Federation Technologies, such as Security Assertion Markup Language, SAML, OpenID Connect, and OAuth, allows an organization to share user identities with other organizations or service providers in a secure and controlled manner. Security Information and Event Management, SIEM, Systems. SIEM systems monitor and analyze security-related data from various sources, including system logs, security information and event management, SIEM, Systems. SIEM systems monitor and analyze security-related data from various sources, including system logs, network traffic, and user activity. They can help identify any unusual or suspicious activity, which can be further investigated. This allows to detect any unauthorized access attempts and respond quickly. One example of implementing cybersecurity requirements for identity and access management is setting up an identity and access management IAM, system for a healthcare organization that stores and manages sensitive patient information. The organization would first define its cybersecurity requirements by identifying the types of information and systems that need to be protected and who needs access to them. This might involve conducting a risk assessment to identify potential vulnerabilities and threats. Next, the organization would document its IAM controls by creating detailed documentation outlining the specific controls that will be put in place to protect the information and systems, as well as the roles and responsibilities of different staff members. This documentation would be aligned with regulatory compliance such as HIPAA and the ECC. The organization would then implement an IAM solution such as Microsoft Active Directory, Okta or ForgeRock Identity Platform. This IAM solution would be integrated with the organization's existing systems such as the Electronic Medical Records, EMR, system and with other systems such as Payroll and Human Resource Management Systems. The IAM solution would automate the process of provisioning and deprovisioning access for users, based on their role and responsibilities, and will include features such as role-based access control, RBAC, and monitoring and logging to ensure compliance. The organization would then implement and enforce multi-factor authentication, MFA, as a secure and second way of authentication and authorization for its users. 
This would be a requirement for all the users and ensures that only authorized users can access the sensitive information and systems. Finally, the organization would regularly review and audit the access rights, to ensure that they are still appropriate and still needed by the user, and to revoke access for users who no longer need it or no longer have a valid business need for it. This would be done through manual review or through automated tools such as the IAM solution. In summary, this example illustrates how a healthcare organization could implement cybersecurity requirements for identity and access management by defining, documenting and approving the requirements, implementing IAM solution with RBAC and MFA, integrating it with other systems, and regularly reviewing and auditing access rights to ensure that only authorized users have access to the sensitive information and systems they need to perform their jobs. Implementing cybersecurity requirements for identity and access management is an essential step in protecting sensitive information and systems from unauthorized access. By using a combination of different technologies such as authentication and authorization technologies, identity and access management solutions, single sign-on solutions, access control technologies, identity federation technologies and security information and event management, SIEM, systems, organizations can ensure that only authorized users have access to the information and systems they need to perform their jobs. By following a clear process and using automated tools, organizations can more easily implement effective IAM controls that align with their needs, regulatory requirements, and policies. It's important to remember to review and update these controls regularly to keep them in line with the organization's needs and any changes in regulations.